Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Marvel Snap! Yay! The new season's coming, and as we wait for more stuff to come out, there's patch notes, but it's only in currently in Korean, and also there's some added information that also is not doing 100% what we want because those nerfs and buffs are coming probably a little bit later, such as the actual nerf to the leader, which they had to come out and say, hey, we're working on it, we're just minusing his power for now, we're working on a way to actually fix him, basically. So that's good to hear, but what are we doing here for the new season pass? It's obvious, it's Zabu, it's Zabu time, thankfully, Zabu does kind of change up the game a whole bunch, the reason is your four cost cards now cost two less, Making it so you can play basically four costs, making them the best two costs in the game. And so I figured, why not make a deck that features both Zabu and Kazar, who, if you did not know, Kazar and Zabu are related because they're both from the Lost Lands. And if I had the girl, which is not out at the moment, uh, Sheena the, the something devil, the woman devil, the sly devil, she's the devil, she's Sheena the woman devil. Um, you could probably put her into this deck as well because I think she's four cost. But yeah, this is Zabu Kazar. Um, pretty simple. Big beaters. We have Dracula here so that if you don't play Red Skull or Infinite, he can take either one of them. Chances are it's going to be Infinite. Sometimes you play Red Skull though. But either one of them is perfectly good to toss off. And if you don't draw Zabu, then you don't 100% die. And then Kazar also buffs Iceman, Korg, Zero, Titania, which is pretty nice. And Enchantress can also remove a lot of um, the bad ongoing effects you have, which is our Red Skull and Typhoid Mary, as well as your opponent's good ones, which is their Zabus. Because if you're playing this game and you're not running some kind of anti-Zabu tech, you are going to always lose to Zabu. So that's going to be today's uh, deck. We're going to go in here. And we're going to play a little bit. There's also this Eternity Rangers. This is the other reason I'm playing this deck, is because after turn 3, add a rock to the losing player's side. I don't have to worry about it. Because I can actually take advantage of the rock with Kazar. So, no big deal. Alright, so here we go. We're going to have Zabu and Titania after turn... Oh. That's not good. But we have to get rid of... We have to get very lucky with our next draw. I hate the Atelian, but it shouldn't be too bad if we don't lose too much card advantage. Uh, that's pretty bad. We're going to end up losing... Well, thankfully our opponent's losing way more than us. Uh, I'll put Zabu here. Or should I put Zabu here? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Let's put Zabu here. Let's see where our opponent plays a card. So there you go, they get Titania. Boom, boom. And then we get Titania back. Ooh, discard. Not bad. Okay, let's see. Kazar and Korg. Doom! <laughs> and he got some name more. Cool. Unfortunately, I can't really play any more cards. So let me see. If I go Korg, Iceman, then Kazar here. Uh, is there really any reason for me to play Kazar right now? Uh, I'll hold off. Korg, there you go, enjoy the one rock, and enjoy increasing the price. Oh, that's potentially bad. I should have played- Oh, actually, it means I didn't lose Kazar. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, so I'm going to play here. Let me see, I forget. I have to remember how to use Titania real quick. So if I play a card here, Titania comes over here, but he has two slots open. If I let him play a card, I get Titania, and then we're all good. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play zero right here. No, it's fine. He's going to play something there. It'd be silly if he didn't. Psylocke, rock, zero. Okay, so I'm going to place... Red Skull here, and I doubt he does anything else. Giganto! He had enough space for all that? Oh, I guess because of Psylocke. But it's fine, we won. Victory. It could have been potentially really bad if I had played something here though, but it's fine. 
Giganto. He probably expected me to play something there, which is nice. The nice thing about Titania is that Titania is actually a pretty good um, mental game. Because I could just completely ignore it, but then your opponent goes like, well, obviously he wouldn't just ignore it. Speaking of good mental game, let's go double core. You can give this man two rocks. You bastard! Rip to both Dracula and Red Skull. Enjoy it. Can't be destroyed here. So we go to Tanya. There we go. Congrats. Now you have her. Oh man. That is not good. Here, I'll give him to Tanya. See how he likes it on her on his side. Boom, how do you like that, damn apples? Thank you. Let's see, turn four. I forgot I had, oh yeah, I can just save it. Uh, hmm. I think I'll go here and then here. This way he always has Titania back. Boom, back to my side. I lied, back to your side. So I basically have that entire zone locked down. Ooh. What? Okay. You literally can't do anything. You screwed yourself. You can play Professor X. I don't give a fuck. You're basically screwed, so I'm going to snap. Because you lose. Now I think go here and it doesn't count when Dracula's there, so we should be able to take the final two spots and then that's basically it. Yeah, pretty sure. So this will be 5, 10. That'll be enough. Unless he has Captain Marvel, in which case I lose. Thank you. Boom. Easy. Four easy points here. Dracula's really good. Oh man, I love it. Let's go. I wonder how this deck would work with Apocalypse. You probably could make a really sick Zabu and Apocalypse deck. Alright, let's go in. But yeah, you can see that's, that's what Titania working as intended. I don't know why he's Spider-Man on turn four. It makes more sense to do it turn five. I guess he was afraid. Nope! Super Scroll. Sneaky man. Alright, well, I can't play anything yet. Sneaker. Okay, so... He's clearly anti-tech at me, but ooh, potentially bad, potentially very bad. Now let me see, do I care enough to Enchantress? I can just also give him the Lizard's bad effect. Hmm, I think for now I'll go zero. I'll go zero over here, and I'll decide what to do next. Yeah, he gets free thing, but it's fine. I feel like I need a lot more power on my side. Okay. This certainly helps. 
And then next turn, I should be able to play all cards in hand. Hmm. Touche. He got me there. Hmm. See if I can... I doubt he plays anything on that side. Should be safe over here. And yeah, let's see what happens. Patriot? Ooh, I know what he has. Okay. So. Hmm. The thing is, am I going to have enough here? So let me see. I'm going to minus one everything. I'm obviously winning this side. If he doubles it here, then I lose. Okay, I'm retreating. Unfortunately, I took a risk on Enchantress, but I should have probably just held on to her. He wasn't that much of a threat, but just to be sure, I had to get rid of it. Oh well, win some, lose some. So we lose two there, but we continue onward. Korg. Uh, sure. Here's a rock, buddy. If you want to give me a rock, I'm happy with that too. Sure. I don't mind. Yay! Uh, let's go here. Uh, I'll go here. And then he'll probably skip and he'll take the rock. Yep. But it's fine, because we like the rock. It's actually a very bad idea to put Zabu and Kazar in the same space, but... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put Titania here. Ah, uh, no. Should I put Titania there? We'll put her here. He's definitely gonna play something here. I just need to... I don't think I'll have enough power with Titania. Yeah, she'll just be a 5, and he's already getting plus 4 from this. So there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see. Good idea, good idea. Final turn. Uh, let me see. Is this enough to win if I completely destroy Iron Man? He'll go down to 11. Not enough. So we'll go here. See what happens, maybe? All depends on where he's going to play next. He's going to play there, so... He does win there, unfortunately. Oof, beat me there. That's the other danger of running a one cost deck is that a single Killmonger kind of ruins your day. <laughs> it's all right. Next. Dun, 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 dun. We're early on in the season that it doesn't really matter to me. Just everyone still testing stuff out. Easy. And unfortunately, I did not draw Dracula. If I did, it would have been a little bit easier. I just primarily drew a lot of my four cards. Boink. Ooh. Fancy. So I get one of your stones here. Ongoing. If you play at least ten cards, bleh. Actually trash. I can at least put this here, then. Actually, that works really well with Kazar. I forgot that that's a thing. But uh, we're fine for now. Stone v. Stone. Angela, huh? Uh, unfortunately, he probably has some way of completely destroying everything. Ooh! He probably has a way to automatically get what's in the ref, though. So I have to try and see if I can stop him. 
I mean, he has plenty of stones that can just stop the... Well, yeah, see, see what I mean? Power stones, effect negated. Boss, turn every card in the hand. He currently has three in the hand, so let me see if I go here... Oh god, I have to actually think this through. Okay, so if I go, I'm gonna have to do it this way. Yeah, this way we both get the free six. Go ahead. Uh, unfortunately, it means whatever card he plays here, it's basically a bust. Ooh, free Chavez, let's go. Not too bad. There goes Iceman, that's fine. And boom, gets blessed up there. <gasps> uh oh, potentially bad. Time Stone. On reveal, draw a card. Next turn, you get plus one energy. You already got seven cards in hand. How many cards more do you need, sir? So I'm going to pass turn. Because if I just drop a 20 and a 9 on the same turn, I think I just win. But we'll see. We'll see what he plays. He has to fight for the raft if he wants to keep the raft. The funny thing is, is I remember thinking that the Thanos deck was probably a big gimmick that loses a whole bunch. But apparently it's actually not that bad. It does seem like a very fun deck. Even if I thought originally that it was pretty bad. Alright, let's see what he's got. Odin, plus one energy. Sure. That effect's already gone. Fast again. Okay, so let's see if I go Infinite here. I win here without much effort. And then here, he has to get at least nine power. And he still has to fight for the raft. Oh, he probably has Thanos. But was this his zero drop? It was. Okay. Let's see where it goes. The Soul Stone, which gives minus one. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Just barely, but we did it. Let's go. I'm gonna give that guy a yeah thumbs. It was really close. Uh, if it was not for Daily Bugle giving me this, did he ever end up using the card? Was it zero? Yeah, he had to use zero. Man, I mean he's a four drop. I guess, I guess he does kind of work with him, but he's kind of more of a hindrance if your entire deck's not built around it. To be honest, draw a card. Ongoing your enemy here have minus one power. Yeah, very lucky on that one. Uh, I think that's good for now. Yeah, more Marvel Snap coming up as always. I'm gonna try in my best. I was not able to get to Infinity Rank. I was able to get to somewhere else 70, but I'm gonna try my best to get to Infinity this season. So I'm gonna be playing a decent amount. I'm already halfway there to Platinum. And as you can see there, I should have taken the risk and gone for the Snap, but you know, I'm too much of a coward sometimes. Sometimes I just be scared to do anything. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace out. I don't know, it sounded weird. Peace out!